Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> your best source for the newest Atari games. And why she's laughing is something you didn't see because if you're not watching it live and mm. you're watching on YouTube, we crashed. And yeah. <laughs> took a couple yeah. minutes to get back up. So, uh, yeah. welcome. Yeah, thank you everyone for being so patient yes. in the chat and sticking yes. around. <laughs> For the extra five minutes. Uh, uh, we're going to mm. be playing some Atari 2600 games today. Yay. Uh, some more uh, maybe overlooked, obscure, older games that uh, we haven't played yet haven't on the show. Up. Cool. And uh, maybe didn't get a lot of attention back when they were posted. Sure. Uh, we're going to be playing Wet Paint by a name I'm not going to pronounce. Okay. Right there. No. 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 It's a lot of letters <laughs> that don't really work well in English. Um, uh, Aaron the Ant by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land. Uh, Donkey Kong 3 by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land. Um, and ILA 2600. And Strangle Hand by Jason Santucci, uh, Gemini, Gemintronic, not Gemini. Mm. Gemintronic. And we'll be also be doing an After Dark, because oh. these will be pretty quick okay. games. Okay. Uh, we're going to be playing INV Plus okay. as part of the 26. Oh, my goodness. All these competition names are very strange <laughs> and very similar, too. Uh, 2600 High Score Showdown Season 6 mm. uh, happening May 1st to May 7th. So mm. why not do it today? Smooth to be me. Tad Grainy Smooth. What? Yeah, What's someone was just saying they they had a choppiness, oh. and other people are saying it was okay. So yeah, we're not losing any frames. So I don't know. Reload. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are Whoop. slowly scrolling down the side there of the screen. Eight bit Swami Allen for Armscar Coder, Atari H B R Pocock, Buck Holmes, Captain Man Two D, Charles Charles Whelan, Chive Five, Dan C. Daryl, Nineteen Seventy. Dave the Daring, directs all Dr. Mook has Fox, Mulder, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Gone, Trooper, Ojur, Rapper, Johnny, W.C., Carl, G., Ken, Jennings, Croco, Lauren, TDZ, Mark Yan is Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mr. Zoop, Zarna Whoop, Mr. Fix, Neo, Media, Op, Boca, Lauren, Deco, Pack, RVG, Coogs, 2600, RC70, Rented Ghost, Repentless, VG, Carter, Ricardo, Pem, Swix, Six, Sweet, Smitty B, Spartan, 581, Spice, Rest, Mirrors, The Dean Train, Welshman, Tiki, Dan, K, TM Events, Trek, MD, X, Ken, X. Mm -hmm. And if you want your name there, just subscribe. Mm -hmm. It's free with Amazon Prime. Just like, oh, it's probably not logged. Uh, oh, 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 it is. Uh, yeah, it's got a log there. There were some people who subscribed just before the stream. Oh, it's actually easier here. S. Ramirez, 2008, and Packrat VG. Yay! Thank you Thank so you. much. S. Ramirez for 35 months. Wow. And Excellent. And Packrat VG for 26 months. Wow. He's, he said just over a year. Wow. That's excellent. Um, yeah, we had a light, not lightning, we had a power outage yesterday night for 10 minutes. We were so. playing playing on the computer, I think, at the yeah. time, too, and everything just went... Whoosh, and you Darkness. Complete darkness, and you can tell it was a pretty big area. Um, we looked out the window. Thousand people? 1,800. 1,800, yeah. Everything We looked was out dark. the window, and everything is dark, and you're like, ooh. Little tiny and LED lights going, blip, Yeah, blip, <laughs> you blip, see all, all, all people finding their... their um, um, Flashlights, flashlights, you know, yeah. running around. I, I I was very close by to my headlamp, so I got my headlamp right yes. away. Yes, and I went for my flashlight and my phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we went from there, and then it came back on shortly. It was just like, like 10 minutes, which was good. Just like after I looked it up on the power outages, so it wasn't that bad. But it the shut place where yeah. I record these streams locally here is like an... Um, direct attached storage mm. not network attached but it's like directly attached to the computer and it obviously did not like shutting down <laughs> last night no so i think that's why it crashed the stream yeah yeah it wasn't recording and then i just went yeah. yeah no you just stay out of there nope none of that no nope. um i do have a poll question it wasn't working earlier before um but now it is working so i can pose it so let's post that right now um and this was inspired by um, the un, uh, Unnecessary Podcast. Is that what it's called? Unnecessary? It's, oh, completely unnecessary podcast. Yeah. Uh, slightly reworded it. Mm -hmm. um, 
If you could choose only one Atari console to play exclusively forever, mm -hmm. both classic and homebrew, I'll give you homebrew as well. You don't have to just, he's chewing on that. Can you he's watch that it. cat? What are you doing? Uh, he's a bad, bad kitty. This is a bad kitty. This is a bad kitty. And that's a bad kitty's beige it, belly. Yes. Um, Come here. Which console would you choose? Uh, one. Now, no. Before you vote, look at the caveat on on 7800. Okay, 2600, 5200 number two, three, 7800, not 2600 stuff on it. Yeah. Because that's the obvious choice yeah. to pick 7800 <laughs> because you can play 2600 and 7800. Mm -hmm. um, Lynx or Jaguar. Jaguar. There we go. And my first love and my love always, 2600 is for me. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Ivory Tower Collections went for 7,800. Mm -hmm. And Phaser Cat Games went for 5,200. Nice. Of course, he programs 5,200 games. So uh, we'll see how that does in a little bit. Let's see if. Now I'm getting all choppy. A different kind of choppy than usual. <laughs> oh, no. No, everything's not good. Not the new VCS, Carl G. Uh, that's not an option. <laughs> I f <laughs> forbid it. <laughs> I don't even, I hate that they called it the VCS. Yeah. I hate it so much uh -huh. because you search for VCS now and it comes up with the new one, right? Yeah. So you have to spec at least it has an alternate name. Yeah. That was not the original. VCS was the original name, video yeah. computer system. Yeah. But you can search for 2600. At least they didn't call it the 2600. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. my no, God. That would be terrible. The yeah. VCS 2600. Yeah. That would just make me so upset it's bad enough yeah. um <laughs> anyway rant over uh we've got some mail uh, from uh leandro camera mm. let's see what that is mm. it's in a big box and it uh made it relatively intact from uh is it brazil? brazil i've crossed it out yeah so. Uh, now, how do we open this? This isn't one of the boxes where it's like split down the middle. I think, no, you pull it. Yeah. These are all on the pain. sides. Yep. There we go. So I'll find the sides, open it up. He said I could open yeah. it up on the show. Just, yeah. Um, so it's... We're like, maybe it's a glitter bomb. Definitely glitter. <laughs> Uh, a box full of glitter. He said to open it upside down okay. and let it fall out. No. So. No, it's yeah. not glitter. Uh, it's very well, be well super mean. Very well sealed. Yeah, it made uh, it. And uh, made it which I'm always impressed with because if ever you have oh to ship God. stuff over long distances, especially overseas, if you don't have it really well sealed, yeah. Atari box is a strong name that didn't interfere. Yeah, they yeah. should have kept it the Atari box. Oh, almost, almost. No, no I've the, got to cut those edge, edges. Think, Watch yeah. your fingers. Keep no, them away. No, no. Keep, them out. Keep my fingers to myself. So we'll see what this is. I am guessing it's games. Yeah. But it could be, oh, it's Ooh. more than games. <laughs> well, let's keep that till last. Okay. Let's open up the it. obvious sized uh, packages. Excellent. Oh, uh, very exciting. This is very exciting. Well oh. packaged, thank you so much, As Leandro. As Tamara says, uh, they got uh, Zark Stars 2, Carl oh. G Space Pac-Man and Asteroids Attack. Oh, very nice, supporting the Brazilians. All the wonderful Brazilian Brazil games. <laughs> RC70, I, I hear that too. Atari Box says Atari Box Plus, ready? <laughs> Atari Box Plus. <laughs> okay, first one. Oh no, there's layers and they're taped. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the most fun. It is. Let's see if I can just <laughs> pull it out through the edge. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Don't, don't hurt it. Don't hurt no, it. No, you got to be very careful. Do you want me to work on some of the others? Feathers. I won't, I won't reveal it. I'll just try to get some of the tape off. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, I can't. Can't. It's too well packaged. Which is good because it survived very well. Like, Don't this is the new show. Watch us unwrap bubble wrap. <laughs> Very <laughs> For noisy. Two hours. I yeah. apologize. Very noisy. Two hours of bubble wrap. Be careful because the box might boxes might be crushable, so just be very yeah, I'm being careful. gentle. Bubble wrap ASMR, exactly. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it is the first one, appropriately, the Zark Stars, a space saga. Uh, so number one. Number one. And it's also in a baggie. 
very nicely packaged. There we go. Oh, giving it to the cat to deal with. Yeah, freaking out the cat. So I'll put this up for the. There we go. Dark Stars of Space Saga. Excellent. Very, very nice. Want this? Oh, you got it. Ooh. Bare fingers. Ooh. And the next one is oh, it's Zark Stars of Space Saga. <laughs> Was this intentional? Was one for are you? Are they different? Are they? Uh, no, they're the the fronts. They are the s oh they oh no 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 okay they are okay, different. They are different. It is one and two. So I showed you two. So this is number one. Ground Force. It's because they use the same box but a different insert. Oh. So that's a great way of, you know, doing a trilogy. Ground Force. Oh, it's a sticker so on the side. This is number there one. You go. This is number two. Yeah, number look two. at the spine. Number yeah. Oh, so that's so nice. I'll show you both of them then. So this is number one, as you can see. Number one, number two. Mm. Oh, the backs are. Oh, it, the little hole that you can see through is different. That's really smart. Oh, so smart. That is so yep. good. Thank you so much, Leandro. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. It was so much fun uh, debuting those so games on the So much fun playing the show. those games. And the other thing <laughs> is a t-shirt with Yay! a little guy on it. Let's take a look at this. Looks like zero and zero, zero. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. it does. I didn't tell him my size. Oh, there's two oh, t-shirts. Ah. One is G for general audiences. <laughs> nice. There you go. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah. That'll fit. And that one is went. M for mature audiences. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> is that one smaller? The G? Yeah. Oh, well, yep. that one's for you. That's for me. Yeah. And there we go. Let's Thank see. Are, are they, they the different? Same? They are different. See? Oh, my goodness. Okay. That is so nice. Thank you, Leandro. One is number one and one is number two. Thank nice. you so much. I don't think he's here. No, but oh, he'll, he'll have to catch it on, on yeah. YouTube. Oh, oh that's so great. Cute. I Another love it. Another t-shirt I can wear on the show. Me too. Oh, I love that one. I like the With neck the on it too. It's got a nice neck to it. Yep. Nice. Rocking some t-shirts. I didn't know it's a space saga on both of them. That Was that on purpose? Yeah, because it's a saga, right? It's yeah. three different games. Um, and I got this in the mail today. Here, I'll take it. Hey, Vitoko. Welcome, Vitoko. I uh, really like those. Those are awesome. Those are very nice shirts. Yeah. And I believe he does sell those shirts mm. um, on the website. Mm -hmm. So you can order them yourself as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I see. Every <laughs> package is a little bit different, so you're yeah. not quite sure how to open it up. There we go. Ooh. I know what this is. You do? What the hell? It's tape that's interesting. Yeah, that's a good way to do it, actually. It's you Tape it to oh, the box. We're so. small. Um, yeah, tape Yeah, it you tape box. it to the box so it doesn't move around. Yeah. Uh, it's very smart, especially for something that's kind of small. Name of each game is on the spine. No X, E, G, S in the pull. Is that a console? It came with a keyboard. And you could attach storage to it. So, uh, you can vote for other then. <laughs> <laughs> I got number 154, something, something. Um, I don't know if that's a number I should be giving away. Oh, it's a, a thing within a thing, within a thing, within a thing. It's we get smaller, closer and closer to the actual thing. Smaller. It's a box. It is, what is it? the El Cheapo SD Lynx Revision 2 from BenVen.com. And for those in the know, know what this is. This is an SD cart based multi cart for the Lynx mm. handheld Atari system. So a little SD card goes in the top oh, and I it see. plays all the Lynx games, oh, including cool. Homebrew as well. It's got a purple circuit board. What does it? It's purple. Is that a real circuit yes, board? Yes. Look at it. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, you could pick. You oh, can pick any kind of color for really? circuit boards. You can get red ones or black ones or old green ones. Yeah. But you can get purple. I didn't yeah, know that purple's was a thing. great. 
So this is for a console I don't own. Just mm. like I bought the Jaguar Game Drive <laughs> You've no for links. a console I did not have oh previously. So, but I, I, uh, there's a lot of good homebrews on the links. Oh, it's a to Taimu. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> when I start the show, I play the music out loud, the pokey music. He knows the show's happening when he hears pokey music. I'm quite sure he's um, attuned to that now. Yes, I think he is. He also knows when we're both in the room, he kind of gets... Uh, he gets excited. Gets very excited. Oh my God. Gets very excited about that. Um, so I'm looking forward to... He just ran away with his treat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he took it to eat it in the other room. It's very protective. <laughs> Thank you, Carl G, for... Oh, funny cat. Uh, ...feeding the Atari. He yes. is very thankful. We also have a, a purple dragonfly. You might oh, even be yes. able to see it on the screen. Uh, oh, it's off view. screen right now, but yeah. Yeah, I love the purple dragonfly yeah. card. I just... I had to get that card. I will get everything in purple if I have the opportunity, so... <laughs> or teal? Yeah. I like teal. Teal's yeah. nice, too. Teal's, yeah. teal's your favorite? Yeah. Uh, my treat. My treat. <laughs> my treat. I'm taking it away in case Because you... we're going to take it away from him, obviously. Yeah. My dragonfly card is orange with black and red buttons. Orange nice. is good, too. Nice bright colors, right? Yeah. Because you look at the systems. They're all black and gray. Oh. He knocked oh, it under. No. Oh, Give no. Give him another one. Kitten. 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 Oh, no. There's, like, cords under there, too. He's going to start searching for it. Okay, here. Can you get it? There you go. Here. Bad cat. Oh, bad cat. Yeah. Last thing you want is digging through cords and oh, underneath yes. it. yes. So the 2600 is well out in front with 73%, and then tied for second is 7800 and 5200, and then Lynx is number four. Mm -hmm. um, and the, on, on, the, on the CUP Completely Unnecessary podcast, yeah. I think... Ian picked a handheld console. Um, oh, not Atari consoles, but consoles they, in general. They just said all consoles. Yeah. Um, because it's portable, you don't have to be tethered. You can move around with it. And, yeah. And it's like, well, that's a, Good. a really it, smart option. Because during the power outage, we're like, okay, what are we going to do? We're like, well, our it's, Switch has power, so we can play our Switch until the power yeah, is back like, on. We can play the Switch. It's fully powered. Until it com yeah, yeah. completely dies. You get a good three or four hours out of it. So. Yeah, but it was back on in 10 minutes. Yeah, which was um, But there was about 100 people who had to wait till 3 in the morning, approximately. Yeah. Well, approximately. they said it was a um, motor vehicle crash, so obviously something hit a yeah. pole somewhere. And So, oh, just one second. Let's get on to the news. There we go. So, Armscar Coder posted this three hours ago. Oh. Uh, the Raptor patches arrived about two weeks ago. I started nice. shipping them last week with the last batch going out yesterday. The ones going to recipients in the USA should be delivered this week, and hopefully the international ones soon to follow. My international? I guess. Yeah. Um, yep. Discovering the Atari homebrew scene has definitely opened up opportunities for me to interact with individuals all over the globe. And for that, I am grateful. Case in point, the eight Raptor patches awarded so far represents Atari Age member from four different countries and three continents. Look at how many people achieved the score in Raptor. Mm. He, may, he may needed to set it a little higher. <laughs> people Possibly. did a good job of yeah. uh, getting them. Yeah. Uh, here are a couple pictures of the patches. So yeah. it says recruit, so he may go for another level of mm. patches later. I don't know. Because it's not just a general raptor patch. Um, they look gorgeous. Like properly stitched yeah. patches. Like old school patches. The raptor binder has been released for almost two months now. With no bugs reported, I think I'm ready to call the game complete. Mm. We still have some work to do with the cartridge labels and box design, but that should be wrapped up in a month or so. That's excellent. Excellent, yeah. I gave it to you. Oh, no. See, this is what happens. No, He no, thinks no. there's still one under there. It's not there. <laughs> You're a bad cat. Oh, oh. Remember when Pixel saw Bug in our bedroom in a corner? He looked in that corner for years. <laughs> There was no bugs for years in that corner. He would just he would just run into the room and just stare into the corner, <laughs> expecting a bug so, to ma you know just appear. He better not be doing that. Yeah. I don't think he's quite as persistent as no, that. No, Pixel is pretty persistent. Yeah, that is uh, gorgeous. Uh, yeah. Yeah. S. Ramirez says, uh, "Wow, that patch looks so good. Looking forward to purchasing a complete box copy of the game. Me mm -hmm. too." 
Um, anyone bringing their links to PRG? Well, mm. maybe I'll find a links at PRG. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Mm -hmm. There's no chance of game stores around here having a links. Or no, even, it'd be hard to combine. Even on Craigslist or anything like that. You'd yeah. have to get really lucky. Yeah. Ha! Pixel. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, Atari 78, A7800 5.1 emulator was mm -hmm. released yesterday. Uh, it's a small update, but they wanted to push it out. Um, because po because of the uh, Pokey emulation updated for better two-tone mode accuracy. Mm -hmm. So a huge step forward in the accuracy of the sound chip on the emulator. Um, and also fix for cart format, super game plus RAM plus Pokey at 800 crash. So um, I think it's Revenge. Nor it said, normally I would have accumulated more changes before release, but given, oh, let's switch back here. But given uh, we have several Pokey focused projects in development, like EXO, um, Hokey, games using Pokey, RMT support for 7800 Basic, seemed quite prudent to get the improvements out for quicker than usual. Special thanks go to Synth Papalooza for performing in-depth stress testing of very po Pokey modes. And as usual, Trevor and I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to use this thread to report any issues or ask any questions. My best is just under 102, 100, 1K2, Charles Wayne said. You can do it! You can do it! It just It's not that bad. Just keep pushing. You can make it to 1,000. Um, and Dan, ABC, uh, Dan, I have a, I have a Kelly, I have a, oh, I don't know, uh, said just before the show, um, in the chat, uh, he said, just a heads up round two of Harmony Games extended until May 7th. So you've got four more days mm. to beat my scores <laughs> in Ladybug Arcade and Game of the Bear. Cause mm. I'm sitting at the top now. So yeah. try and dethrone me. You can do it. They're really fun games too. Yeah. They um, are fun games to play. Ico, Ike. Ike Covelli. Ike Covelli. No, Ike Covelli. Ike Covelli, yeah. Well, he's, Ike he's like saying it's Ike like Covelli. two two syllables, yeah. two separate. Ike Covelli. Ike Covelli. Ike Covelli. Ike, Ike Covelli? Covelli. Okay. You, 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 yeah. Because I'm merging the K and the C. Ike Covelli. Ike Covelli. It's probably, probably close. Yeah, you guys are close. Keep at it. Ike Covelli. Tanya said it. Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. So we're going to be playing for, oh, one more thing. Uh, there is a date set now. This is breaking news. A date set now for the Atari Age Day 2022. <gasps> it's May 21st. It's a Saturday. Okay. Um, so Ooh, two and a okay. half weeks. Yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're going to be, I'll, I'll be posting something in the uh, forums and on Facebook and all the other places. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be having unboxing of all the new Atari Age games. Yay. There's like 16, 17, tons of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be talking with all the developers. Nice. Live chatting with them, video. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there's there's games for 2600, 7800, mm -hmm. um, Jaguar, and 5200. Mm -hmm. Um, all your favorite developers will be there. Um, so definitely uh, tune into that. Set your schedules. It'll be starting at noon to hopefully just 6 p.m. We're going to power through it because <laughs> we have played all these games, so yeah. we don't need to play the games. Mm. We're mostly unboxing, putting it in, turning it on. You're going to be playing it a bit. Yay. We're mostly talking to the developers about the release of the game. Not, okay. not in depth about the game, but yeah. the release and the artwork and the box and nice. that kind of stuff. Nice. Red carpet event. Yeah. Uh, it won't be like, like check out last year's. It'll be more like that. It's a casual, casual sit down thing. We won't yeah. be standing for six hours. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. The awards no, are only no three. No standing. No. This is longer than the, the awards. The awards are tiring. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to, yeah. your favorite developers and Phaser Cat Games yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So um, I'll be posting graphics and letting okay. everybody know soon. Uh, I've sent uh, a message out to all the developers so mm. they know what day it is. So we're organizing the schedule right now mm. of who is when. And Kat, come on. Get, 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 get out of there. Get. Um, is that her who I'm wearing? <laughs> uh, something like this? Yeah. <laughs> That's Dark Stars t-shirt. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, so in an attempt to make... The 2600 oh, yeah. uh, flicker better, or non-existent, um, I bought a new uh, capture device mm. from EVGA, who make motherboards. So I'm like, oh, this has got to be Decent. quality stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Um, it's going to work if it's if it's the capture device. Oh, let's b rewind a bit. Yeah. We got a new computer upstairs. Super powerful. Oh, yeah. Like super duper powerful. It runs everything. It's amazing. 120 frames per second. You I know, was 4K. Playing crazy. Civ 6. Civ 6. Yeah. And I was commenting to James, like normally you, you, you run out your turn and then it crunches away for all the <laughs> other all, all the other civilizations, you know, their turns. Yeah. And it just kind of goes boom and then it's your turn again. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, Intel. Yeah, so I, I, so I, good. seven, twelve, seven hundred, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm very, it's very fast. Very, very fast. All, all the, all the really, really like. Outer uh, Worlds plays great. Outer Worlds has been got great too. Got a 4K too. television as yeah. uh, variable uh, frame rate. Yeah. So it it matches the frame rate it's oh, outputting. It's, nice. it's really nice. Yeah. Anyway, it's nice. I took my 2600 up there <gasps> with my existing capture device, the uh, HD 60s which is a very good capture device. Um, took it upstairs, put it on the super duper computer, no change. Mm. So I'm like, well, that clinches it. Yeah. There is nothing left except for the capture device. Mm -hmm. Are you having an asthma attack? No, mm -hmm. sounded like it for mm -hmm. a second. Um, so there's nothing left except for the capture device, mm. right? Um, so I bought a new one, EVGA. Got it delivered like in a couple days, right? Mm -hmm. um, hooked it up. The other day, it's actually still hooked up right now. Is it? Yeah. No change. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do a complete rundown of it on the forums. Okay. Again. Okay. About the 2600, what I've tried, um, what I discovered. I think it's because the 2600 outputs at a very strange frame rate. And it just these kind of things just don't understand it yeah. because the 2600 can dictate its own output frame rate. Yeah. You were saying that it's not a chip that prepares a frame outputs it frame outputs it. Yeah. It controls the screen directly. Mm. It can put any frame rate at once. It can put one frame a second, 60 frames a second, whatever it wants. Okay. So I think that's it. Uh, the problem. So I'll be doing some more testing of games that play at different frame rates, but uh, that doesn't even solve it. I'm hoping maybe a developer can help me out and make a program, if one's not already made, that outputs at different frame rates with flickering on the screen, right? Mm. So I, w I would like one that goes like, I don't know, does uh, interlace text. Okay. Just, just like the Harmony cart does, right? Okay. Because that's the super visible mm. and also does like a counter or something or flicker something so mm. I can see the flicker. Oh, I see. And so I can... So you can use it as a test. Yes. And yeah. change the frame rate with a joystick. Yeah. So that I can see when it locks in. When it becomes a problem. When it's becoming a problem, when it's not, if I can change the frame rate. And if I can get it and set it to a frame rate that's correct and it doesn't flicker, I know it's the output of the frame rate of the 2600 itself. Yeah. So we'll see. Because it's like 29.92 frames nine or 94 yeah. frames per second or something. And it's just a little bit off. Mm. Um, so anyway, this no luck. No, no luck. Uh, oh, VCR to capture device. I've actually, I was actually thinking about that, um, running it through another device. Yeah to kind of calm it down yeah. and almost have it act like a um, mediator in between before it gets the video capture. But would it adjust the frame rate and output it differently? Possibly, because when we see it on the television here, it's perfect. The TV can handle it. That's very true. And this is, and it's coming out of the upscaler. Yeah. Just like the cap, it goes into the, yeah. it goes like this. Yeah. TV, capture device, TV looks perfect. Capture device goes ah, yeah. flicker, flicker, craziness. Freaks out. Yeah, I would have to run it um, with uh, composite out. And um, then I can run it through a VCR. Mm. But I was thinking of hooking up like two capture devices, mm. right? One th with the pass through of yeah. the capture device into another one because the I don't know. Well, I'm going to try a bunch of things It'll now that I know. Experiment. <laughs> I, I think yeah. it's the 2600 itself. Yeah. It, Not that it's, it's causing, a problem, but no, but yeah, it's just, it's meant to run well, on CRT. Certain games, they look crazy. 
Like yeah. not all games look look terrible, but some games it's like almost yeah. unwatchable because of the flicker, right? So yeah, games without flicker, it's fine. It's fine, yeah. But yeah. it's still doubling up and dropping frames. Yeah. At that point. Anyway, that's enough of complaining that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Because you're not here for technical issues. <laughs> you're not here for tech support. You're here. For Although the games. you do often help. <laughs> oh, he's looking for his treat. We should put one there right now it doesn't matter he's gonna so keep he going can back. dig it out no he's... and go oh i got the treat that i think i lost there no i don't think i don't think it's record to betamax then capture betamax i have a betamax do you not betamax but a beta tape it's not the same thing beta beta like tape high player? quality beta tape not a tape player but a tape um tape yeah it because they can work it was used it's used in studio up okay. to a certain point to play uh, to record and play and master yeah. for um, broadcast um, because it was very high quality tape. Anyway. Yeah. You should have put a spider in Pixel's corner. He would have kept coming. Back. He would have been like, spiders live there. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be, it would just reinforce it. So it could go one way or the other. It could be like, oh, I got the treat. I'm done. Or this somehow magically creates treats. <laughs> I have to keep coming back, right? So. Yeah. Uh, he's not digging, so he's just kind of just looking. Let him, so we'll just see. let him be. Yeah, we'll let him move. Okay, first game today is Wet Paint. And I'm going to spell out the person's name. U-O-S-I-P-A-L-L-A-M-X-E-W. Okay. It's not backwards for anything either. It's just as crazy backwards as forwards. So it might be another That's language. Okay. I'm not sure. So let's get that going. At R E I S L S. Ready. There you go. And let's switch over. Could be an an what is it, an anagram where all the letters are uh, messed up. Could be. It yep. also looks kind of indigenous as well. Like it has an indigenous looks to like look to another it. language translated translated to letters that we would know. Uh. Uh -huh. Go for it. So this was first posted December twenty fourth, two thousand seventeen. It's a four K game. Uh, this is the only game that they've made that I can tell. I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of like a, a paw sideways. Oh, a little bit. It's kind of a neat symbol. Yeah. Three little things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, Wet Paint, Batari Basic, another puzzle game for your video computer system console. Mm -hmm. uh, controls, reset, switch, reboot, select, switch, choose the starting puzzle, joystick, paint, fire, proceed to the next stage. Okay. So, yeah, it does look like a paw. So, I played this a little bit just so I know what it is. You have to move. Uh, it's just like that game oh. where you move completely in a straight line and then stop and then you move. Ex see, you failed. Oh, um, I see. So, okay. you have to paint the whole thing in one go. You got it. I see. Tanya loves I do puzzle, love games. puzzle games. <laughs> Who doesn't love puzzle games? So, I, so I'm trying to catch up on all the games that I haven't played in homebrew games. And gotcha. These were four that we haven't played before. Um, there's still a bunch of them I haven't played, but there is a limit to. Uh oh, nope, not gonna get this one. No. No. Now, if you press a button, it'll go back to the first one. So. Oh I no, think... that's okay. I mean, they're pretty. We'll start with that. Okay. No, it's a pain in the ass doing that. I want to see how how many puzzles there are. Mm. Now, I couldn't. F no, I did figure this one out after a little bit. Um, this is the highest one I played. I didn't play the one after this. Oh, you got it! Nice. Yeah. Who's Buffalo Pin? New follow. Buffalo Pin. I don't know. Oh, it's Buffalo Pinball is the full name. Mm. Uh, followed three days ago. I don't know. Buffalo Pinball Club. Uh, that might be it. If there's a Buffalo Pinball Club. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm, no, you did it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Not couch compliant? Um, it is, but not all the settings. Mm. Like it, You can play it without going to the to the console, but it's not all the options are not available. So it's like silver, <laughs> not a gold couch compliant. I'd say a silver. 
Mm. There's still some things that you can't get to. Um, so it is getting way more complex. Like this mm. one is. Mm. Cool. You got it. Yep, you got it. Nice. So let's tend to just throw <laughs> off this game. Oh, what are those? I don't know. Do you have to pick them up, or do they stop you? I think they stop you. Mm. But I don't know why they didn't just put a, a normal square there. I don't know. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, they are stoppers, but you go through them. Okay. Wow. Well, that that just ugh. wrecks your yeah. strategy. Yeah. Sliding animation looks surprisingly smooth. Like, what is the game that uh, we played? Uh, what is it? Uh, VHZC's game? Slide, slide, slide boy in Maze Land? Yep. That's it. Slide boy in Maze Land. Oh. Can you go it, forward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the red dots. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we got to destroy all the levels. Uh, I don't know how many levels there are. I didn't say. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Down, up there. There you go. Nice. Good job. Charles Reese. I'm loving this game. And then a Donald Duck. <laughs> oh, you got it. There we go. That does add. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, pretty smart. Mm -hmm. For such low, it's like a low res game. It's done with Playfield, and I'm guessing those are like the ball, a ball, and I'm guessing the player character. Mm. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Go back. Go back. No. Can't <laughs> How go do back. I go back? I wish there was a backwards. Like you could undo a move. Which that would be a nice. One? Oh no. Oh, we're almost to the end. What? I think I forwarded it too much. That one you did? I did that one. That one. That one you're on? I think so. Is that no. the one I was on? No, you're on an open one. Have you done this one? I don't remember. I thought it was green. That one. You were on this one? No, I was on the one before. You're like, you are on that one? I'm like, I think so. It was green. That one. Okay. <laughs> I guess the small dots could be a ball. Yeah, it could be. It could be a ball. You could be the ball. I mean, there's so many options. Those could be pl players. They could be. It could be missiles too. They're like too wide. Yeah. Hmm. Lots of options. There's not much in going on in the game. The. I'm guessing the drawing goes in chunks. Yeah, it goes in chunks. So that's probably play field. Hmm. Because it looks four across, or is that eight? That looks like eight across, actually. Hmm. It is Buffalo Pinball. I met a lot of them a few years ago. Played a small tournament at the local pinball place. Met with Michael Thomason there at 1.2. Damn. Uh, fail. Fail. Well, at least I don't have to. Uh, I think it starts with the same. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, my God. No, it didn't. At least they're color-coded. <sighs> Oh, balls the same color as the play fields pose probably missile or player graphics. Oh, so those could those could be balls then. And he's used two of them. No, nope, again. Nope. <laughs> oh no. It's not behaving. Like when you're you have to die on the level. And but then it resets. But if you don't die and I press it, it goes to the next one. So yeah. Yeah, most likely they are balls. Uh, yeah. Uh, down, down. Oh, no. Nope. Up. Oh, and then you could go. Yeah, it's like so close, but oh, not quite. Oh, damn it. Not quite. No amp for you. No amp for you. No amp for you. <laughs> I got stuck on this one. The other ones I was flying through. I'm sure it's something simple. Oh, now you're in my seat. Ow! Ah, there we go. He just protests any time he doesn't get his way. Oh, this looks good. Yay! Yay! I knew I'd figure it out. Eventually. Now you're on the green one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
2600 got a couple more votes, I think. It's at 70% now. Yeah. 70% for 2600. You made it? I don't know. Is this this isn't the end yet? Nope. Keep going. Uh, ten and ten for fifty-two hundred and seventy-eight hundred, and oh, tie, ten, 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 fifty-two hundred seventy-eight hundred links, and no votes for Jaguar. I mean, the library isn't as big for Jaguar, so I understand that. And also, you have to think about the audience that I'm sampling as well, because uh, I started with twenty-six hundred games on the show for many years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then 7,800 I started playing a year or so ago. And then I just played one <laughs> one round of Jaguar games. And uh, modding my 5,200, so I'll be introducing 5,200 games soon, which there aren't that many homebrew 5,200 games. Uh, there's a few, but not too many. Um, and uh, then I'll get a Lynx, but I'll... Oh, you have to get a modded Lynx. That's the problem. Because there's... This, does, this looks doable. Yep. I think you could have done it without those stoppers, too. Um, the last one... Last stopper. The last one, it was like a fake stopper. Like, they're, they're, uh, you don't necessarily need to use them. Yeah. Fake stoppers. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Easier. Easier. Yeah, spiral around the edge. Did it! Yay! Yay! Beat the game! Record time! Super Stop fun! Stop the clock! Super fun! That's yep. really cute. I like yeah, it. It's a cute game. So yeah. I thought, you know, I haven't played the, we haven't played this game on the show. Yeah. Is there any score? No, it's just a puzzle. Yeah. I mean, they could put a timer, but once you know the puzzle, yeah, yeah I guess you could do a timer. But you could time yourself going through the whole set. <laughs> as well yeah as yep. quick or in the fewest number of moves there it's quite possible uh, there's more than one way of doing it right no, some of those no. no i think some of them might be you can't do it in fewest number oh yeah, yeah you could. are they possible to solve in less moves it's possible because i mean not all turns. of them but some of them yeah yeah some of them won't be but yeah. there yeah. might be more than one way okay yeah. awesome that's a fun fun game and we never have to play it again because you did it oh. all <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good job. Ready. Charles Rees reminds me of that mouse game you played months ago. Uh, yes. Keijo oh, chases Keijo the cheese. That's yeah. right. And, yeah, very similar. And also, that I already said the name. Something in Mazeland. Slide Boy in Mazeland. Slide Boy in Mazeland. Very similar, but Slide a, Boy. A little different, but yeah. Both of them are a little different. Yeah, yeah. Because the other one had dangers. They both had dangers. And this one you're filling in the screen, so you're blocking your path as you yeah. go. Keijo is getting things randomly placed. Yeah. Not randomly, but yeah, randomlish. Mm. And uh, Slide Boy mm -hmm. Maze Land is getting to the next level, mm -hmm. finding the exit. Yeah. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is, uh, I believe, is Aaron the Ant. And this is a game by Chris Reed, and it's actually a port of an Odyssey 2 game mm. that he also made. Uh, so... Let's take a look at the Odyssey 2 version of the game first. I could only find one video recording of that. Because um, it's a homebrew for the Odyssey 2, and there's mm. it's not too many Odyssey 2 channels. Um, out there? Out there, yeah. So let me bring this up right now. Looks very aardvarky. <laughs> well, yeah, it's Aaron the Ant, and uh, what are the ants? Um, enemy? Yeah, it's an aardvark. <gasps> nice. There you go. Oh my goodness. So you control the ant what a great at the little bottom of the screen. The ant at the bottom of the screen. And you do, do, do these. And Atari 2600 Land said this game was originally made for the Odyssey 2 by me. I wonder if I could do it in the same thing in Batari Basic on the VCS and still have it be 2K. Mm. Uh, and this is what I have so far. So you have to get the apples. And there's an aardvark st sticking his tongue down looking for you. <laughs> and I think on this game you have to jump. Uh, on the 2600... Yeah, he's jumping. On the 2600 you move around freely mm. on the screen. This one looks like it's jumping. Um, and I think there's different levels or it just gets faster and faster. Yeah. Oh, 
died on purpose there for sure. <laughs> Just to show it off. Mm. So that is what it looked like on the Odyssey 2. So we're going to take a look at the 2600 version of the game. If you want to reverse load... Reverse anteater, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is reverse anteater. If you want to load it up. I did make the cartridge graphics. I made the cartridge graphics for all of these except for the last game. Oh, okay. Aaron the Ant. Nice. Look at that little cute. ant. This is a 2K game. Yeah. And it's got a title screen. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, yeah. Um, Atari 2600 Land loves making small, simple games yeah. really fast yeah. and moving on to the next one. Nice. He has made hundreds of games. That's how the big the ants are in North Carolina. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to go to North Carolina <laughs> <laughs> for that big. 1K right there, RC70 says. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. Um, okay, go for it. So instead of the apples, it's got like spinning. And more. They kind of look like the coins in Mario. <laughs> Pretty, pretty good for 2K, and I'm guessing this is 1K. I, I'm sure if you had 4K to work with, the um, the anteater at the top would be more detailed. The ant's really good, and you yeah, can put the apple in as well. It's pretty cute. Because there's no reason, no technical reason, you couldn't put the apple in the bottom, other than running out of space in a 2K mm -hmm. game. Um, because all you have is the ant at the bottom, which is a, a massive, I'm guessing, Four times size character. Yeah. Great animation. So the tongue's getting a little bit faster. Starts off really slow. Oh, I ran right into it. <laughs> <laughs> right into it. Okay, I get to yeah, play now. Yeah, it might be fun as a two-player game. It would oh, be very fun if... And he could, because there's only one, one ant One there. controls the anteater, and the other controls oh, an ant. could do that. Or two ants as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, that like, would be good. Once you commit to the tongue, you can't move the anteater, and then you can move uh, it and try yes. to get the ant. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, either one would be a good variation. That would be pretty fun. That would be fun. Good luck getting uh, Tar 2600 Land to revisit his game. <laughs> I don't know doesn't. if making it two he player would uh, eat up more uh, K, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Well, though. maybe not. No. Well, yeah, I would. He probably. <laughs> Depends how full it is. Because the ants could be just the same graphics but mm -hmm. different color. So you don't have to store the graphics. You do have to store some variables about where they are. Mm. Um, do more joystick reads. Um, change the kernel a, um, a bit so it knows to draw two ants instead of one. All you have to do is be very careful if the... Oh, I know. It's easy to just 51. kind of... 51. You get so get, sucked into um, it being, like, easy. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's a breeze. But yeah. then you don't realize the tongue is actually going a lot faster. The most dangerous time is when he first moves, because you don't know where he's going to um, spawn. Yeah. An air and amp 4K version. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, definitely. With 4K, you could put two players or have... Like two different games, two ants, or one person doing the anteater and then one person doing the ant. And and you'd probably have to start off a bit faster with the anteater. Maybe not. Because eventually you would get faster. Of course, on this one, you don't know where the anteater's going. Um, so a good way to do that would be change the anteater to a paddle, maybe, so you can quickly position the anteater mm. rather than slowly move it with the joystick. Yeah. Yeah. Or just to have a that really fun. Yeah, probably paddle for the anteater yeah. would be really good. Whoa. Oh, now you beat me. Did I? Just there. I had 51, I think. Oh. oh. And I get one more go. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, he was right on me. The tongue that is so creepy. Real. I think the worst part is that it's relatively accurate to the reality of ant eater tongue physics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have really, really crazy long tongues. Really long tongues. Mm. They go two and 
one there. <laughs> I wonder how far over the anteater can go. Does it go all the way to the... Too bad it's not adamant. <laughs> adamant, yeah. Goody two-shoes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of playing that before the show. Oh. <laughs> it would just get uh, silenced. I would... And it would just yeah, be for true. before the you show. You need it without for the Twitch stream. I don't know, maybe the vocals. I don't know. Oh. Are they good with catching things if they don't have vocals or? Uh, yeah. Cause, really? Because if there's a. I guess it's pattern match. Yeah, they would just pattern match a part where it's an instrumental. Mm. And there's usually. You true. Know, true. True. A, uh, the beginnings usually instrumentals in songs. Yeah, I'll beat you now. Mm. I'll beat you now. Now it's getting fast. Mm hmm. You can feel the stickiness of the tongue. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> bleh, bleh. Oh, Atari's fast asleep now. Oh, he's full of treats. He's full of treats. Oh my he's God, like it's a little lump now. on the on the floor. <laughs> oh, he's stuck. Oh, he was stuck for a second. Whoa. Oh, oh. bad timing. <sighs> now he's getting hungry and faster. <laughs> yeah. Num num num. Okay. Oh. Oh, you want to play one no, more? No, no, I didn't. I hit okay. it. It's okay. You can flip it over. Uh, yeah, the games are coming fast now. Okay, Donkey Kong 3. Mm. Now this is a port of an arcade mm. game. So don't, lo don't load it yet. We're mm. going to take a look at the arcade game. For those unfamiliar. Because it wasn't too popular. It wasn't ported to... What was it ported to? Let's see. Uh, well, it was ported to the Famicom NES. Mm. There was a Game & Watch. It's like two little pucks. I don't know why you need two. Mm. I guess take turns. Uh, NEC PC 8801 and 6601 and the Sharp X1. So really just the NES for uh, popular uh, systems. I don't know if you know this uh, game. I do not know this it. game. I don't, I don't know Donkey Kong 3. No? Okay. No. Uh, it's... Very different than other Donkey Kongs. Yeah, not not the kind of scrolling, climbing up the screen kind not, of thing? No. Well, you do go up the screen a little yeah. bit. It doesn't have Mario in it. That's probably one reason. So let's get to actual gameplay. Oh, maybe I do know this. So you're like uh, an exterminator. Yeah. Uh, let me read the official thing from Wikipedia. Uh, Donkey Kong 3 is the third video game in the Donkey Kong series by Nintendo, obviously. It was released for mm. arcades worldwide in 1983 and the family, fam family computer in 1984. Mm. Then released in North America for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 86. The game played to parts from previous Donkey Kong games being primarily a shooter game and starring an exterminator named Stanley instead of Mario. Donkey Kong hangs from vines at the center of the screen, and the player controlled Stanley. The exterminator runs and jumps on platforms beneath him. Stanley can fire bug spray at both Donkey Kong and insects flying around at the levels. Mm. The level is completed by continually using bug spray on Donkey Kong and insects flying around the levels. The level is complete by continually using bug spray on Donkey Kong, forcing him to the top of the screen. I think I repeated some stuff there. Or by killing all of the bugs. Really? It's a lot of bugs. You can to kill. finish the level by killing the bugs? I didn't know that. It's a lot of bugs. I don't think I've ever finished a level by killing all the bugs. Um, a super spray can on the vines falls down when Donkey Kong is sprayed past it, so he kind of knocks it down. Gotcha. Super spray only lasts for a limited amount of time, but it pushes Donkey Kong upward at a much faster rate, making it easier to complete the level. It only spawns at the start of each life. So there, there's the super spray, and they get it, and you want to use it on Donkey Kong. It just pushes them right up quick, quick, quick. There you go. Mm. And you have to protect the plants at the bottom because the bugs come down and steal your plants. Oh, sorry oh the plants. For uh. being an inept teacher and leaving the mouse on the bar. Mm -hmm. Stupid. Um, okay. So let's take a look at the Atari 2600 version of it. Mm. Do, 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 it would make a little more sense for an exterminator to go after the gorilla than a plumber, I guess. Yes. Well... He does have multiple jobs. Mm -hmm. He he worked on a construction site on the first Donkey Kong, really. He wasn't doing any plumbing yeah. there. True. Right? Well, not that we know of. Well, he could be putting plumbing in the building. That's true. Play? Yep. 
Oh, nice background. Yeah, that's done by uh, Playfield. Mm -hmm. um, so, Atari 2600 Land posted this originally August 28th, 2010. Okay. Uh, since Atari 2600 had Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., I was wondering if a Donkey Kong 3 is possible. I made a mock-up of the screen in Atari Basic since I was bored. It looked really yeah. like this, actually, on the forums. I'm going to see if I can find the NES version tomorrow, play it, and see if I can expand on this idea. Mm -hmm. Please note that I stink when it comes to design 2600 sprites, so if I go further on this, I'll probably need some help. Some people did step in and help them with some sprites. Okay. Um, it's like a weird hybrid of Galaga and Defender. Very much so. <laughs> um, so you saw the gameplay. So you really, to finish the level, you have to get Donkey Kong up to the top of the screen. Uh, yes, there will be no worms. In this later, latest version, the bees can pick up a flower and begin carrying it off. I haven't done any logic beyond carrying one flower off, so that'll be the next to do. Yeah, Donkey Kong's really flickery and very dark in this version. So the higher up the screen you go, oh, uh, the faster you can get Donkey Kong. I think you have to get in the middle of them. I don't know. Oh. You're not pushing them up at all. There you go. Oh, that explains it. So the last version Atari 2600 Land uploaded was on September 21st, 2010. And then ILA 2600 started working on the graphics. Uh, a bit more in December 22nd and 23rd, 2017, using Hackomatic. Um, he posted, Hi Chris, I love your Donkey Kong 3 game you're working on, it's awesome. I used Hackomatic 3 and redid Donkey Kong the best I could, and will help out with other graphics when I can. Uh, here's my title screen for Donkey Kong 3, so he changed the title screen. Oh, so noisy. Uh, and updated the stand graphics. So when I posted that we're going to play this game, yeah. uh, Crazy Climber posted, does Homer Wannabe know about this? I uh, haven't seen him around in a while. And he said, Homer Wannabe was a dude obsessed with Donkey Kong 3, and he holds the world record in, on the arcade machine. Oh. So I don't know if he saw this. It's... Oh, you're stealing your plant. I know, I know. Oh, it's gone. You're not going to make it. Oh, not he stole going? it. Oh, I have to go up to the higher level. Yes. Uh, so if you go up to the top level, he goes up faster. I find, I find like... This I've, is a very incomplete version, yeah, by the way. Yeah, it's... It, it is it, not it's, done. It's very odd. It's like sometimes you think you should be hitting something, things disappear. It's because of the flicker, I'm thinking. He used um, hardware collision instead of software. Um, so sometimes you notice the bullets go right through Donkey Kong. Yeah. Um, so there's no worms. The screens are actually quite good, like the backgrounds. Donkey Kong is very flickery and very dark. So that's a bit of an issue there. So I think that would need have to be redone. Mm -hmm. There is some flicker management. Um, but it looks like the bugs are being drawn with with player characters because Donkey Kong flickers when the bugs are going through them. And they should probably just be um, something else rather than that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what they could be because... Yeah, I know why they're doing player characters to get different colors. That's why. Because there's blue bugs and yellow bugs, and you've already got the playfield green, you kind of brown, Donkey Kong, very dark brown. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But the playfield's very nice. I I think this game could be done, um, decently with uh, some good flicker management. Yeah. Because if you're going to be making those bugs out of player characters, you might as well make them bugs mm -hmm. rather than little squares. Yeah. Atari 2600 line eventually became frustrated with the flicker and gave up. Don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah. understand. I can understand that too. Yeah, if you don't have good flicker management in the game and everything's just going to go crazy, mm -hmm. right? And and there's no worms and stuff like that. But I thought yeah. it's it's interesting. It's interesting. It I do plays like the, okay. He's he's got the majestic background with the the plants and everything in a really yeah. simple way, which is actually quite lovely. But unfortunately, a computer could play this by just holding the button and pressing up. Oh. The whole time. Oh. 
Like on this level, you oh, actually weird. you actually can't hop up to that. Oh, it's this one. There's no ladder between that. You have to go around and then uh, up. You got killed there. Yeah. yeah. Usually the bugs go straight for you and then you just shoot them. Mm -hmm. Or they just disappear sometimes too. Like they're just disappearing. <laughs> oh, I think the hardware collision is thinking I'm hitting a bug when I'm hit hitting Donkey Kong because they're Maybe. sharing the player character. Yeah. So you see the watch them just disappear. See yeah. the bugs are just disappearing. Yeah, they disappear when you and when you just continually shoot. It's, it's yeah. Funny. So it would be better to have hardware or software collision on this. Yeah. So right now I'm just holding up and pressing the button. And yeah. Not even looking, and you, you pretty much win every level. Mm. That's the only plant. Oh no, I won. Yeah. But I yeah. thought it was really cool to to show because it would make for a really good 2600 game. Yes. Yes. Just based on the play field. Yeah. Yeah. So. Very Anybody simple, yeah. Want to take on Nintendo? <laughs> You'd have to change the name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, there is some sound. It's just really quiet here. I turned it down. Okay, so on to the last game. Oh, wow, okay. Of the show. Ready. Wait, 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 wait. Comet, comet. Um... Okay, so there's a little bit to show on this cool one. Cool test of proof of concept, at least. Yes. Smelling errors. Is Conky Dong <laughs> taking? Yeah. <laughs> um, people are proposing in the thread DK3, which mm, yeah. they may or may not have that as well um, trademarked. Okay, so there's a bit of background to this one. This one is called uh, Strangle Hand. Okay. Um, by uh, Gemantronic. It's first posted uh, September 26, 2013, and this builds the next day. Mm -hmm. It's a 4K game. He's made a million games. I'm not going to list them out. Um, lots and lots of games. Mostly tied in with movies. Okay. Um, so this one is also tied in, I believe, with a movie as well. Uh, okay. Uh, something to do with D. Snyder. Um, but the movie is called Strangeland. Okay. The game is called Stranglehand, <laughs> and it's explained by... Strangleland. Um, uh, Impaler26 uh, posted in the thread, but why are you playing a different version called Strangeland? Gemantronic said, because I was a giant dingus and misread the title of D. Snyder's horror film, Strangeland. Oh. So he made a mistake. Oh, that's based funny. Based the whole game on the name itself. Gotcha. So it's a game about a hand reaching out, so which has nothing to do with the movie. Oh, that's so funny. So it's really, really funny. funny. Yeah. Um, so here is the cart artwork and the and D. Snyder signing the cartridges. That's funny. There you go. So there he is at a, a convention. Uh, signing the cartridge version of this game. D. Snyder signing the Strangeland cartridges. It was a hit and run with D, so I was not able to get a better picture, signing picture with him. Ah. I'll post a close up of the cartridges nice. tomorrow. So there you can see. D. Snyder's. I'm guessing that's part Strange from the Land. poster. Yeah. Right? And then he signed it 2013. Nice. I uh, got two of them signed. Nice. One for himself, and I think one for Gem and Tronic as well. Mm. Unbranded Strangeland from Neo Games. Yeah. So, um, let's give it a go, and I will explain to you how it is played. Okay. Stranglehand! Stranglehand! Phew! And it's supposed to be jumpy like that, to give a kind of creepy vibe. Turn it down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, so the instruction. Description. Use Captain Handy's amazing fist to eliminate his personal demons. If his outstretched hand touches a demon, points are awarded. Oh. Oh, you started? Did you press something accidentally? No, just started. Uh, greater rewards are given if the demon is eliminated while the arm matches its color. Oh. So you've got a pink arm. You still get points, but you get more points if it matches the arm color. But, oh, so am, I, can, am I going for that? I still get points for everything, though. Yes. Um, 
demons who touch your arm will do one point of damage to oh, your health. Oh, so the just the hand. You have to touch them with your hand, not your arm. Oh. So they're a little square. And the little thing that drops? Uh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> if all six hearts are gone, so are you. Only one arm can appear on the screen at a time. Fully retract your arm to enable the opposite appendage. So you already figured that out. Uh, you can change your off-screen arm color by pressing fire button. What are the little things that fall down? Uh, uh, occasionally a star will appear that randomly changes your current color's arm and awards bonus points. Oh. At certain intervals, the demons will begin to move faster. So that gave you bonus points and changed your arm color. Oh, oh it's touching your arm. There you go. So you can press... When you press the button, your arm changes colors. But I think only when you're off screen. Try it when you're on screen. Sorry? Sorry, what did you say? Press the button to change your arm color. I think it's only when changing. you're off screen. There you go. So you've got orange and you've got red. Okay. Oh, you have to switch sides to get the new color. Get it? Oh, oh. you missed it. I love how it's delightfully weird. It very weird. Very, very strange. Controls use the reset switch to reset the game, including high score. Press fire to start the game or change the off-screen arms color. So you're changing the, the arm that you don't currently have on screen when you press the button. Oh, I see. So if you're using your right arm, pressing the button will change your left arm. If you change your, if you, on, if you're using your left arm, it'll change the right arm color. Oh, I should have got that one with the right. But the colors coming down are random. So changing the color just takes time, I think. Takes time up. Oh, that one touched your arm. It's, uh... So really, you do want two different colors. You have both purple right now. Oh. Did I die? Score 10 points for eliminating color mismatch demon, 110 points for eliminating demon matching your on screen color. Mm, the bar at the bottom shows your off screen. Oh, okay. Really? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> no, I'll be a second. Oh, no, I'm pink. Okay, so pink, red. I see. So if I go. No. Purple. See, the demons are coming down too fast to matter changing your arm color. Like, oh, I have to change to purple? No, it's already gone, right? It's just too... I think just waiting for the right colors randomly and having two different colors. So there's... Oh, oh it changed my color. So I'm now I'm brown and green. So I want to get the brown, and then I'll change the green. But changing the colors is just too... The demons, even the slowest demons, it's too too crazy to change colors. And they don't seem to come down in waves that I can tell. So I don't see a lot of point in changing the color. Other, Like, there, I'm green and brown. So if I see a green one, I'll get it. Otherwise, I'm just staying on the brown. Oh, change. Touch my arm. Well, maybe it didn't. Maybe I've earned another point. Green, green, green. Oh, should have got brown with that one. Face, uh, the face sprites are pretty cool. Very decent. They don't seem to get too fast. I haven't lost a life yet. And really, you can't... Can you... Like, if you go off screen, if you do that, would you ever lose a life? Because all you no. have is your hand showing, would have to hit you, showing, that's right? true. We just keep going. What a great screensaver you've discovered. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that, that at the bottom mm -hmm. is constant, so mm -hmm. you wouldn't want this as a screensaver. I think I did a pretty good a job with the art. Oh, Slowboo. Yay. Oh, are you Gemintronic then? 
Oh, these names. <laughs> <laughs> the new flying toasters. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, the faces are really good. I love the faces. Yeah, where they're, fla- they're flickering they're pretty back creepy. and forth. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that's just reverse. Yeah, yeah they yep. are just Slow reverse. Slow Hey, excellent. Yay. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for... Effectively yeah. a pause mode. Yeah, you're not yeah. getting score. No, nothing. You're not getting, it, you know... I'll just I do don't that think once you can hit that. Or... Oh, it's supposed to give you points and change your colors. All right. Did it? Yeah. I'll watch this time. Oh, it's very hard to get just your hand. 2315. So I'm just going to go for the bonus points this time when it comes down. Oh, it gave me only 50. It's not that much. No, it's not that much. Mm. Give me a little bit more that time. I think you really want to get them. That's how you get it's them. really not a hard game. <laughs> it's not hard. It... It'd be fun for kids. Yeah. Matching colors. I like, oh, the colors. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I love the faces, though. Yeah. Very demonic faces. Yeah, very demonic. I've... The backstory is really funny that you messed up with the name of the game and just based the gameplay completely off, of off the name which was the mistaken name <laughs> strangle hand hey that's uh hey, a, it works there's amazing art inspired by things like yeah. mis un- misinterpretations of things right yeah. yeah i love it i'll just think of how many song lyrics are misinterpreted oh yeah we were watching a really oh, good documentary about the history of pop music i guess yeah and they were talking a little bit about the swedish music producers who created a lot of pop hits in the 90s and a lot of the songs where you're wondering what the heck does that mean like it, it it's completely saying? incomprehensible it's like the words together make a sentence but the context of it makes no sense like hit me baby one more time yeah Which... created by swedish like musicians and producers what does that mean like, like, and uh, what was it? Um, hit me on the phone, baby, one more time. Yeah, they, they just hit, got me right, hit me up on the phone, and they the got phone. the phone out, and so it's hit me, baby, one more time, which makes no sense at all. No. Um, and then what was Sounds the other violent. one? It was like a Backstreet Boys or In Sync. Uh, yes. Um, um, I can't remember the lyric, but it also was like. What? Yeah, you always wonder what does that mean, and yeah, it was sort of like almost misinterpreted English. The Very sleeve funny. is all playfield. Oh, oh so it, neat. So it moves by four every. Oh, that's very creative. Having your player made of playfield characters is really unique, mm. actually. Because there's only so many things you can make with playfield characters. So that's very creative, actually. Good mm-hmm. job. I like that you're like punching demon faces from Punch. the left and right. Punch. The, the, it is the like hooks. boxing. Yeah. Got to get your left hook, Punch. right hook. Punch. Left hook. Punch. <laughs> Punch. And it's best to punch them from the opposite side where there there's a distance. Yeah. You can retract quickly then. Yeah, they won't come at you. Yeah. It's cute. I like it a lot. Yeah. Strangling demon necks. <laughs> I guess Charles you are... Reese, leave Britney alone. Leave... Britney didn't write the lyrics. So no. <laughs> it's not a criticism of Britney. Uh, but <laughs> ah, oh my God, oh, what the hell was that? Came off the edge there. Mm, that's mm, a new one. Dangerous. They're much faster now. I think I've hit a new level. Maybe. Wow. It's speeding up now. Um, it's dropping. Like, that's a new demon. Oh my God. How do you... Oh, he wasn't even near my hand, so that one's okay. Oh, it, go- I think it that's went a bug. on the outside of your hand. I think that's a bug. Yeah, a little bit. Because kind of you like, can't get it, and it, it can't hit the get edge. You. It hit the edge of uh, the screen or something. Yeah. Neat. Look at these guys. Punch him, punch him good. So how many characters are there? Two? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, kind of a horn demon, and then... With a bunch of colors. And one that's... How many colors uh, are there? Purple, green, brown, kind white. kind of looks like... Um, Blue. A face without a nose, with a hole for for the nose. Yes. That's what it reminds me of. Kind of like a skeleton nose. Orange. Okay. This probably uh, cycles through it. So let me get safe area. Very hard. So green, brown, purple, orange, brown again. It's random. Purple, brown. Five. Red. No, oh, did I get red? I don't know. White. Uh, maybe six or seven or eight. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh. 
The hand is the ball. Is uh -huh. it? Oh, the hand is a ball. Okay. Gotcha. So that, oh, I see. So the hand is hiding part of the play field yeah. so that it can move smoothly. So it draws the play field underneath every time. So it's moving over play field. Oh, it's very clever. Oh, no, it isn't. It's not moving over the play field. Oh, it's moving four at a time as well then. Yeah, okay. Still very, very clever. Very, very good. Boom. Good stuff. I just hear a Z symbol works in 2022. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. Always, punch, yep. always punch Zs. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we played Wet Paint, mm -hmm. Donkey Kong 3, Air in the Ant, and <laughs> Strangle Hand. <laughs> good timing. Ooh, good timing for the kitties. <laughs> oh, oh, baby cat. Kittens. Here you go. All right. The Atari Little thanks ends. Bitoko. Yeah, thank you, Eight Bitoko. So, but stay tuned. We are going to do After Dark. Because I knew these games would be really quick. Yeah, they're pretty short. Yeah. It's probably the shortest show. Thank you for joining Slow Woo, by ever? the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it actually 7.42. A lot of news. Now, meow, I'm hungry. And my cat reacted to that. Oh, meow. did <laughs> Did they? Oh. You gonna? Hmm? More? Um, More? Yeah. So we're gonna be okay, playing okay. INV Plus, which is a Space Invaders port. Okay. Um, drawn with Playfield as well. Um, mm -hmm. So it's uh it's a fun Space Invaders game. Um, we're only gonna take like five minutes before oh, after dark comes break. back. Yeah, I'll like refill really, my beer. Really quick. Yeah, yeah. So beer refill time. Yeah. But let's take a look at the schedule coming up because there are some very cool shows coming up. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. So uh, we have the Muddy Vision Secret Homebrew, and I'm hoping to pair that with another game. We'll see mm. how that works out. Um, and then Atari Age Day 2022. Woo! I can fill that in now because that nice. is the 21st. Okay. That that's going to happen. That's a Saturday. Yeah. So we're going to be um, away for away a couple for of... a few days here. Yeah, not a lot. And then but... come back for a big show. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's going to be some other, um, fun games going to be filled in soon there as well. Are we going to do the for foreman day sh soon too, right? I think that's coming up That'll as well. Probably it's, come it's just after the Atari age day. Most likely. Yeah. It's going to be the Tuesday Ooh. after it. We'll see. Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see. I thought see. it had to be a Friday. Uh, oh yeah. So it'll be probably the, the 27th. Friday. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing the... Uh, zero page homebrew the game. Yes. Finally, on the twenty seventh, <laughs> most likely. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it all works. Make out. Make sure that all works out. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, finally, yes, and we're giving yep. away four cartridges signed um, to four lucky winners of something. Yeah. We're gonna have to make up some questions, some quizzes, some mm -hmm. a variety of things. So we'll give chances to people of all skill levels as well. Maybe a homebrew knowledge test and maybe a random test, a mm -hmm. random number kind of thing um, so that people can randomly win it. They don't have to have... Because like in Canada, to win things, you have to answer... Oh, you always have to do a skill testing uh, A really question. easy math. Not super easy, but yeah. easy yeah. math qu uh, question. It's usually like a numbers multiplied or minus yeah. or, or sometimes divided but usually not divided yeah. it's usually uh, multiply it's always a bed adding. mass kind of question you know you have to not, do everything not, in the correct no, order. It depends no, on, on no, how it's done i think they usually put brackets no I, do, do no bed mass stuff? i think yeah i oh. think sometimes it's a little tricky but anyway aren't yeah. you required by law yes because it has to be a game of skill depending skill. on the type of I think lottery it is lottery. Challenge. Yeah, it's very very funny. And you can, yeah. and also in Canada, you're not required to buy anything. Yeah, they can't make you it. buy anything for for sweepstakes and things like that. Yeah, except for lottery. That's a different thing. You have to buy a ticket. You can't just go. Yeah, I want a free ticket. You have to buy a ticket for the lottery. But that's run by the by the government. Government, <laughs> yes. But to win prizes, you 
are not required. You can't require somebody to buy something to win something. Yeah. So if you ever see you ever in Canada, you want to enter in a, a sweepstakes. A sweepstakes. You don't have to buy anything. Don't get suckered into that. No. Um, like even if it's like a chocolate bar wrapper, like, oh, you have to buy chocolate. You don't have to buy a chocolate bar. You can enter it anyway, yeah. anytime you want. It's very funny. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, coming soon. Anything there? Yeah. Champ secret, uh, Champ, Champ Games secret homebrew, uh, elevator action mm. by Champ Games. That's coming in a month or two. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the new elevator action. He was going to be doing it, uh, with, uh, bus technology, but that hasn't been solved. So he is doing it with, uh, CD, CDFJ, uh, plus mm. technology. Um, and we also have a developer spotlight on Todd Fermansky coming up and a live interview with Old Style, who's in the chat. Um, so that will be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be um, ex have the exclusive final version of Mario Brothers, plus an exclusive world premiere of a to be announced. Might be a secret. Actually, mm -hmm. probably will be a secret. And also maybe a third game. It's coming along very nicely. Mm -hmm. Isn't it Old Style? Yes. If he's still here. <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll be able to show a bunch of games, but at least we'll be showing the final version of Mario Brothers, which is amazing on the yeah. 7800, and also another mystery game. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, indeed, mm -hmm. it, indeed, it is coming along nicely. Um, oh, and yeah, ZPH the game. Hopefully, I'll be able to move that up to the that would 27th. Be really cool. Yeah, yep, we'll yep. see. And plus a bunch of uh, four-player games like quad games, Chaser, Space Debris, Witch's Tower, Raindrops. Mm -hmm. Rain, uh, there's two raindrops there. Oh my goodness. Uh, medieval Mayhem and maybe some other ones as mm -hmm. well. Yep. Um, and also we'll do a d another Jaguar day because I have some more Jaguar games to play on cartridge. Yes. Exciting. Lots of good stuff. Very exciting. So thank you for hanging out. Don't leave. I'm don't saying, leave. I'm saying your names, but don't leave because we have some After Dark because it was a uh, short show. Uh, old Style, RC7E, Phaser Cat Games, Carl G, Slowboo, thank you for joining us to mm -hmm. uh, answer some questions and about your, your game. game. Yeah. Uh, Charles Reese, uh, Vitoko, 8 Bits, Mike Soul, who else? All these chatters. Um, Metal Lunar 7, Miss A Cardboard Matt. Box, Ivory Tower Collections, S. Ramirez. Say Mike Soul. I'll don't say think it again. So. There we go. Smitty and, B oh, Smitty was B. up there too. And, yeah. and Charles Donnie Mao. Uh, if that's Yay. how you say it. Oh, can you type it out how you say it? Chalcedoni? Chalcedoni Mao? Chalcedoni? It's it's uh, it's, 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 it's it's a rock. Is it? Yeah. Chalcedoni is yes. a rock? Yeah. What does it look right? like? <laughs> I don't know. Never, it is. never heard of Chalcedoni. Yes. Chalcedony. Okay, Chalcedony Mao. I yeah. know how to and say it's a it rock. now. It is. Yay. And rendered goes. Hard C-H. Yeah, ch Chal ch Chalcedony. Chalcedony. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, okay, so stick We're around. <laughs> We're going to be back. Yes. Five minutes. There'll be a countdown. Yeah, refresh your drinks. Pet yep. your cats. Pet your cats. Get a nice, fresh uh, batch of treats to, to throw yep. at them I'm Yeah, while you're refill playing. refill my glass. Yes. And uh, we'll be back with some After Dark and yeah. try to beat some high scores. Yeah. Um, so we'll see you in five minutes. Yes. Uh, see you then. Bye-bye. Stick around. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>